secure both the fourth and fifth rainbow gems. But was he running out of time? Could he still get to Minnie before it was too late? Mickey chanced upon an enchanted mirror. In its reflection, he saw himself, but wearing far more magical clothes. His heart pounding, Mickey raced into the castle hall, only to be met by another of Miserable's illusions, enchanted suits of armor. Whoa! <laughs> I guess you fellas aren't statues after all. Mickey traveled deeper into the castle dungeons. He knew he had to get those last two gems as quickly as he could.
The wonders in the treasure room were marvelous to behold. With the sixth gem found, oh. Mickey began to feel that maybe it was Miserable's time that was running out. Gosh, <laughs> this place just never stops, does it? wasn't playing by any rules now, thought Mickey, as he tumbled into a pitch-black castle corridor. Hey, where'd the lights go? Mickey raced into the clock tower. Having once been a clock cleaner, he knew the moving parts were dangerous. He'd have to be very careful as he made his way to the top. Mickey raced into the clock tower. Having once been a clock cleaner, he knew the moving parts were dangerous. He'd have to be very careful as he made his way to the top.
top of the clock tower, Mickey thought the danger of being squished was finally over. Unfortunately, he thought wrong. The oafish clockmaker was the final master of illusion. at an end. The final violet gem was Mickey's. Next stop, Minnie. Finally, Mickey had acquired all the rainbow gems. Now he could cross the rainbow bridge and save his dearest Minnie. Onto the castle battlements raced Mickey. An eerie chill overcame him as he beheld the tall tower. He knew it was the heart of Miserable's power. save his beloved Minnie? Or was there still hope? Oh, Mickey, I'm scared! He's so pretty. It's a shame I must curse her. But what's mine is hers, and also vice versa. Ah! Ah! <laughs> you thought you were a 
a match for me. Now that would be a castle of delusion. 